He deserves to be. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Um, Vanderlei has done a lot for the sport. Um, it was 10 years ago where you said he wasn't going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame, and you said the, the guy's been Pete Rose. This was after uh, he left. And it's a good thing I very forgot. Critical. It's a good thing I forgot. It's a good thing you forgot. Exactly. Is Dana White hiding something from the world? Or did the UFC brass merely forget what they said about Silva 10 years ago? Yes, over the course of the past 30 years, Dana White has been at the center of many beefs. This includes his beefs with fellow promoters, MMA fighters, and Hollywood A-listers like Meryl Streep. But what was his beef with MMA's biggest star and pioneer Wanderlei Silva about? And how did Dana forget all about it? As the hardcore MMA fans would know, Silva was one of the most dominating figures in the sport of mixed martial arts. From dismantling the who's who of middleweight contenders in pride to turning over to UFC with the massive star power. Silva was one of the front runners that UFC wanted to acquire. At one point, Dana even took his biggest star at the time, Chuck Liddell, to Japan to face off against Silva. But unfortunately, that never happened, as Chuck failed to make it to the finals of Pride Grand Prix. As Chuck Liddell got booted in semis at the hands of Rampage Jackson, who went on to lose in the finals against Silva. At this point, Dana knew he had to acquire Pride to bring in guys like Wanderly Silva, Mirko Krokop, Rampage Jackson, and more. But this isn't where the beef began. Like Dana said, he was already a massive fan of Silva. He only wanted to see him do good under his promotion and continue the axe murderies reign of terror in the UFC. However, a few losses here and there dimmed his star power. But what was the final nail in the coffin was the introduction of USADA. Dana and team were on a quest to clean the sport and weed out all the drug cheats. As some fans would know, random drug testing was fairly new and fighters didn't know much about such a structure. Silva, being only the second fighter to be tested, didn't really trust the representatives and chose to run away. This was straight against the new rules laid down by Dana, and Silva was handed a lifetime ban with a $70,000 fine for his transgression. Naturally frustrated from the ban and losing his livelihood, Silva went on a Twitter rant claiming that UFC is actually rigged with fake fights as Dana White controls the sport. He even called Dana White a slave owner as the way he controls the fighter's career. Obviously, this didn't set too well with Uncle Dana, and he made it crystal clear that Silva will never be awarded a spot in the Hall of Fame. But glad Dana forgot all about that beef and handed the legendary Brazilian much deserved a spot in the Hall of Fame. So there you have it, the entire breakdown of a beef that took place almost 10 years ago that Dana White thankfully completely forgot about now. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to follow Sports Key to MMA on all our social media platforms.